Hey everyone, Paul here. So I filmed myself starting a new painting, but I didn't so much follow through with filming the rest of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in here to give you something to look at while I am going over the five reasons you shouldn't be an artist. So I would never want to discourage anybody from becoming an artist because I personally think it's the most wonderful thing in the world. I do think that sometimes people get into this field for a lot of different reasons. Maybe a better name for this video would be five bad reasons for becoming an artist. So here's number one. If your goal is to become rich and famous, I'm not saying it can't happen but there's probably easier paths to get there. Maybe star in your own reality show or <laughs> marry a Kardashian. Now, I will say that it would be very hypocritical of me to pretend that you know I'm not somebody that likes attention. As I sit here talking to you through my YouTube channel that I set up so that you can literally give me attention. <laughs> that's not, I'm not gonna lie. But if that's your main reason for wanting to do it, I think you might end up being disappointed because you know it's really like 90% work <laughs> and like a few percentage points of maybe if you're lucky getting to go somewhere and have some people tell you that what you made is nice. Number two is kind of along those same lines. If you constantly need validation, if you have to feel like you're the you're the best, and along with that, if you can't handle criticism. This could be a very difficult field for you. If you're in high school and you're one of the best artists in your class and then you go on to, to maybe art school somewhere and suddenly it's like, whoa, I'm not the best anymore. There's all these other people. If that kind of situation just makes you fall apart, you have to reevaluate why it is you wanna do this. It's not because you're trying to be better than this person and this person. It's because you're a freaking artist and you love making stuff. Number three, if you don't like art, and that may seem like an obvious one, but if you're not somebody that just wants to seek out every art exhibit or if your social media feed's full of all these artists that, and their work constantly inspires you and you're just trying to always learn more and more about it, if, if that's not you, then you might wanna ask yourself, is this really something that I wanna spend all of my time doing? Number four, if you're somebody who really loves and needs stability, and you want to have rules and regulations and you want to clock in at a certain time and clock out, then this could be a very difficult career path for you because this is usually not what it's like. Now that's not to say there aren't some commercial art fields you could go into that might be a little bit more structured, but in general, becoming an artist means you're really forging your own path in a lot of ways and you have to be sort of comfortable with chaos. Number five, if you splash a few brush strokes onto a canvas or piece of paper and you think it's the most amazing thing in the world every time you do it, unless you really are a super genius, that thing might not be the greatest thing in the world. If you can't be critical of your own work and admit your own shortcomings and flaws and try to improve, then you're always going to stay in the same place and never get better. To me, that's what makes it so exciting. You're always learning and growing and trying new things, stepping outside of your comfort zone. So there you go, guys. I hope you soaked up all of that great wisdom. And now to reward you, I will fast forward through time so that I can show you how that painting ended up. So I've just listed off some, some of the more challenging or difficult aspects of being an artist. Here is a perfect example of why I absolutely love it because you can take nothing and turn it into something. And that's, that's magical. And if you love it too, then you should do it. And don't let any asshole, including me, discourage you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, listening to me yammer on. Hope you'll take a second to go down and leave me some comments and go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you come back and hang out with me again. Until then, talk to you later. Bye-bye.